What's up, everybody? This is 8 Bit Eric. I'm here at Classic Gaming Expo in Las Vegas. I'm here with David hey, from Eric. Game Over Video Games. In case you don't know of them, they are a company based out of Texas. They have several retro gaming stores that specialize in a variety of platforms, consoles, you name it, great selection. Could you tell us a little bit more about Game Over and exactly sure. what, what your goal is and what company does for the gaming community and everything? Yeah, sure. I mean, we, uh, we specialize in retro gaming, so uh, you know, we're a retail store, but we're very different from a GameStop. We have tons of classic games. We do uh, free events all the time, um, and you know we just we just love supporting the industry. So we have you know, toys, we have T-shirts, we have um, soundtracks, um, all the cool gaming-related stuff that uh, your average game store is not going to have. I've, I've realized uh, recently I've been doing like classic game fest and all sorts of events right. and having music at your locations. Um, I've noticed the Austin location had like a Donkey Kong type of event recently it was for, uh, for was cancer it? yeah, yeah we, charity we had a, a charity uh, event with uh, Donkey Kong we had a Donkey Kong theme uh, all day long all the stores raised money for the American Cancer Society yeah and so that was really cool what, what's what's funny is I work down the street and sometimes I'll see on uh, when I'm not supposed to be checking my Facebook I see that y'all having like an event nobody does that during the day <laughs> y'all have an event going on or you have some kind of like little video game challenge or you go in and you challenge somebody that's working and I'm like Dang it, I just want to say I'm going to the restroom real quick, right. run over, play I had some games. really bad to eat last night. I'm going to be in the bathroom for about an hour. Play some games I'll be real back. quick. Yeah, I've noticed, I've noticed y'all do a lot of little, like, you know, community friendly events for people that do come do. to the shop. Yeah. And sometimes I'm like, man, if I didn't have to work, I'd be over there at the, the you know, Tekken tournament or Mortal Kombat 2. Um, I've no, I've seen y'all have um, kiosks at different events like Art Slams in town and everything. I've, Y'all, I've noticed that y'all have been picking up a lot of presents. I mean, heck, y'all even drove yeah. over 20 hours to I mean, we're, Vegas. Yeah, we're here in Vegas, I was going to say. <laughs> I mean, we do everything we can to, uh, you know, support uh, retro gaming. And, uh, you know, it's from our stores, the people that we hire. I mean, we, we don't just have retro games. We don't just have a little bit of them in the corner of the store, kind of hidden under some dust and cobwebs, and yeah. no price tags or anything like that. I mean, we we clean them, we merchandise them. You know, we have staff that know about them. Like, they, they won't wonder what an Atari is if you ask for one. Yeah. Um, you know, like some other retro stores might. Uh, you know, it's, it's just we really love the gaming community. And, and so we put on events. We take part in other events like this, uh, Classic Gaming Expo, the events that we do. Um, and then, you know, other things around town. We donate to local, you know, high school school raffles and things like that. I mean, we, we do everything we can to support the community. Yeah, I've noticed that actually are expanding. Um, you know, I just have the store in San Antonio. You have a Houston store. You have a yes. Round Rock in Austin. Round Rock um, in Austin. Uh, I just, this is a valley, which is like yeah. South Austin. And then so I, just noticed, Austin now. I just noticed you started your... Sadly, your, my your, friends, well, another year... You just opened the one in San Marcos, which is right South outside Austin. So just alone in the San Antonio area, area, it's like four locations already. We're growing. Uh, we we have uh, five all together right now. We've got three in Austin, uh, one in Houston, one in San Antonio. Um, and then we just opened San Marcos a couple of weeks ago, which is great. It's right down the street from Texas State. That's going to be a great store. Um, and then uh, we're opening a seventh store next month in South Austin, in South Lamar. Oh, yeah? And that one, like, each of our stores has a little different of a theme to it. Uh, some of them have game museums in the back and things like that. Um, the store in South Lamar that opens next month is going to have a art gallery in it. Oh, yeah? Like video game art, like pixel art, um, game designer, uh, game designers from Austin. You know, donate some work to a show and sell in there. Um, and Do you have any um, other upcoming events that are going to come? Are you going to be, I know it's kind of out of the way for yeah. both of us, like the Portland Gaming Expo. Is there any chance you're going to go up there? Or? Um, I don't know. They've been, they've been trying to recruit me over there. But, uh, uh, yeah, everybody and their mother's been saying, hey, you should go it's too. Really and cool. I'm, like, and, yeah. I'm like, dude, you need a time machine or something to go over there or something because, you know. It's, it's a long trip. I can tell you we're not going to have a big week like this because, uh, you know, after after this whole week coming getting out here, it's, yeah. we're not looking to spend another week driving out to Portland yeah. and back. Um, but but, uh, but I may go check it out. I may just fly out there. But y'all also out. have an online store as well for anybody that's watching this. We I have want an online store. Out yeah. I mean, inventory and we're to the point now where we, you know, we're growing our retail presence, um, but we only open a new store when we have enough stock to, yeah. uh, to staff it or to, to fill up the store. Um, that's what also sets us apart from some of the other retro stores that they'll open a store with empty shelves and then say we'll have stuff eventually when yeah. customers come in. You know, our stores, we open it, it's full of retro stuff from day one. Um, so, you know, we really, we're expanding, but kind of at a slow, steady pace. Um, Any chance that you probably might be getting other stores like in Dallas or anything like that? Or is that yeah, still toxic? I mean, no, no, we're, we're totally <laughs> looking to grow. Um, I mean, it's no secret. I mean, we opened one last month and one next month, so it's no secret we're growing. Okay. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we're looking anywhere in Texas. We're even looking beyond Texas. Um, you know, we're to a point now where, um, you know, things are going well and, and people are really receptive to the way we do business. You know, we're different than a lot of other game stores. Yes. The way we treat customers, the way we stock our stores and, and set them up and everything. And, um, yeah, so there's been a lot of love and support in the community. Well, I, I appreciate from 
Texan to another Texan. Yeah, Thanks a lot for taking the time out. you out here. Yeah. I know. Uh, <laughs> just have a safe trip heading back, and you know, you I'll stop by. And people watching this, check out Game Over Video Games. Get some games. Play the video games in the back. Check out their museums. Yeah, but you can buy online yep. nationwide. Uh, we also do trade-ins online now, which is something no other game store does that I know of. Not even GameStop. So you can awesome. see what your games are worth. Buy new games or buy the cool like toys and t-shirts and things that we have. Cool. Well, so, yeah, the website's pretty cool. Check All it right. out. Thanks a lot again and have a safe trip. All Thanks right. everybody Thanks, for watching.